one of the purpose of uh, introducing LN, uh, the XN, the sequence, was to not use the continuous motion, right? So we see that, and here I'm about to use, I'm about to define continuous motion using whatever we have. So here's continuous motion. Um, so how are we gonna? Where is this motion kicking into mathematics? Is the following. Suppose there is a dot right here on the y-axis. This dot move up and down as time passes, and this horizontal axis is a time axis. You don't see this time axis in real life. You can think about it. All right. But it's a dot is actually moving on this wall, for example, moving up and down. Up until the one second, dot did not move at all, always in that position, like your flashlight putting it in there, red dot, right? So 0.5 second is location was a vertical, still one, let's say, centimeter, and we put point in there. At 0.5 second, it was in one centimeter vertically, and 0.25 second, it was still one centimeter vertically. Up until the one second, the dot never moved, always in the vertical one centimeter above. So you put all the points in there. Do you see this makes this line? Yeah? So I'm really f using the fast motion, or if it is a little dot in no gravity zone, and you flick it, and then it begins to move in constant speed because there's no gravity or friction, then it arrives at here, and I gently touched it in perfect force, so it just abruptly stopped there. Okay? This happened in between one second and two seconds, right here. Now, what is the location of this dot at two seconds? Right there, two centimeters above the position. What happened in between? In the middle, it was probably here, right? In the middle, 1.25 seconds, it was somewhere here. And 1.75 seconds, it was somewhere there. You see that? You have to dots over these time expansion and moving the constant speed just trust me on this one turns out it moved like that okay and then it stopped and not, did not move at all after two seconds so it stays in the position this is called Newtonian space-time time is visualized as an actual spatial axis but it's actually movement It's not this movement is just stay there and stop that's the motion, but it's expanded over time like this. Now it creates as if it is a graph of a function, right? The motion is now visualized as a graph of a function, where input is not x, but time t. So here's a graph that we are about to give a meaning to the graph being continuous. If this graph created out of this special, um, the motion, if this graph is continuous, then we call the motions continuous. All right, but you know, some musicians have this trick to make you believe that it was there at one second, up until one second there it was there, right? Bam! It disappeared and appeared here instantaneously. So you don't see it move like that. You believe maybe it moved really fast. You did all the slow mo and everything. We confirmed that it was there one moment. And next moment, it was there. Electron. Yeah, electron disappearing and just changing this energy status, something like that. So how the graph would look like? Right up there. Seems like experiment. At one second, it was there. And next moment, it's not there, but it was right there like this. Which is jump, right? So this is a graph of a position. It looks like it's discontinuous. There's something, there's a break in there. So this graph... All right, motion turn into graph. It's like discontinuous. It's not good. It's not continuous, right? The better word is it's disconnected. The whole chunk was disconnected. But right now we're just focusing on this something called discontinuous. Continuous, discontinuous, right? Or it could be like this. It was there all the time and it disappeared. One instance and next instance it appeared again, right? Yeah. Or it could be up there and flicked and come back down here again. <laughs> Whatever, it, it's weird motion, right? It could be all this discontinuous motion. But 
you know, in a classical world, before this measurement was developed, anything like that, everything moved continuously, right? You don't expect one particle disappeared and appears in here. No one imagined that kind of thing back before. So in a classical world, the physics is all continuous, right? There's no discontinuous. It's just, just like that. So this was all discussed. Everybody accepted. Nobody challenges the notion of continuous. Now, mathematicians is about to define what a continuity is in terms of the graph of like that. The motion there, you can turn it into a graph. So how do we define a graph in XY plane is continuous. So that's kicking in right here. So I explained all that. This is something you have to copy down. And then never forget, never forget, <laughs> this mathematical definition of continuity. Oh, continuous is like this and emotion and all that is not mathematical explanation. This is a mathematical explanation, all right? And you have to write down the verbatim exactly like that and really have to be able to reproduce it. Not by just brute force memorization, but you understand the statement and lay it down correctly. All right? Several practices will definitely you will get there. But let's write it down first. If you can, you can use a squiggly line or thump, something like that. And if you have a color pen, it's great. I want you to put uh, underline there for all values on in C. But you all have a chance to write it down and have a chance to think about the statement a little bit. Not yet. Yeah, let, let's, let's.